Hey everyone, this is Mary from SPG Cuts and I'm here today with some really fun Christmas box cards. So box cards have been new to me over the last couple months and I've been having a lot of fun coming up with some designs and we knew that we were going to do some kind of Christmas in July thing so we thought what better combination than Christmas and box cards. So these are really fun and really nice and beautiful and detailed. Um, just all the different dimension within them I think makes them super wow factor. So within your download you also get the plain versions of these four cards so that you can change them up and put whatever you want on them. Like for example if you wanted to change this to not be Santa you know it could be something totally different. You can use your own die cuts or whatever you have in mind. So we have five different designs obviously and the cool thing about the box card is that it folds flat. So it fits right into its envelope and all five cards come with a envelope that is just one piece. You fold it up and you put your card in and it's super cool. So this is definitely the kind of thing that people are going to display if you give it to them and they're going to think it's really cool. So you can have tons of fun picking out your papers and your colors and making yours look totally unique and different and just, you know, being creative, which is which is why you're here. It's what you love doing. So I can't wait to see what you come up with when you make your box cards. So the cool thing about each of these two is that on the back of each card, there is a nice little space so that you can write, you know, Merry Christmas, love me and whoever. So that is nice and handy. So you can do a Christmas stamp on the back and sign your name or or what have you. So each of these has a couple different layers. Most of them have two inserts. This one just has one insert since it's nice and wide. And I tried to just make as many nice details on each card as possible without getting too crazy. So you'll see here in just a minute when we put them together how um, it's actually pretty surprisingly simple. Once you put the, the layers together, you just pop them in there and you have a really cool box card. So I always love poinsettias when it comes to Christmas. So this was the first one that came to mind for me. I was like, got to make some poinsettias because they're just so pretty with the different layers and the dimension and everything. So the paper that I used this time, I actually got, I had it left over in my stash. I never used it last Christmas in 2013. So this is from, it probably came out like fall of 2013. So I'm not sure if it's still available. Maybe you still have some Christmas paper in your stash. I bet you do, that you can use. This one is by My Mind's Eye, and it's called Mistletoe Magic. And it's really pretty. comes with smaller pads and all kinds of cool stuff. I treated myself to the stamps, which are really cute. But like I always say, whatever paper you want to use is going to look super cool. And if you do the plain box cards that are included in your download, which don't have decorations on them, you can make these into, you know, birthday cards, fall cards, anniversary, Halloween, whatever. So nice and open for creativity. So I've got all my pieces cut out to show you how these go together. So let's get started. So first I'm going to start off with the Christmas trees box card. And this is the finished one. And as you can see, I've got my inserts laid out here. And in your PDF, which is included in your download, which you can either print out or you can just look at it on your computer, I've got, for every box card, I've got a little diagram that shows each insert so you can tell where the little decorations go on each one, assuming that you're making it just like mine. So as you can see, the inside, the inside front insert is actually two layers, so you want to go ahead and glue those together and you also, well as you can see this this bottom, these bottom pieces go together and this green one's a little bit smaller so it's nice and easy to get it in place. And then you can go ahead and put your stripes on your train and your star and if you want to put a brad for the wheel there you can do that too. Then for insert number one you want to go ahead and put your panels on your tree and your ornament little gold tops of your ornaments and your one little popped out ornament that goes there as well as the panels in the star on insert number two. Then you can go ahead and take your your two pieces that form the body of the box card and at this point if you want to go ahead and put your panels on these three half circle type shapes you can see there's a, a patterned dotted panel on mine 
You can put those on now while it's flat. Otherwise, you can always put it on at the end too. That's not, not a big deal. And while it's still flat, if you also want to go ahead and put the back panel on your card, you can. However, this this um, this green, well mine is green right now, but this back panel that goes on the inside, we don't want to put that on just yet because we want to glue our the body of our box card together first because there are some tabs. Well, there's just one tab here in the back that this is going to hide. So you want that to go on after the body of your box card is together. So if you want to go ahead and emboss this before you put it on, if you're using a solid piece of paper, that looks kind of nice. And then go ahead and glue that into place. So now that your three panel or your three inserts are all decorated and the body of your box card is together, we can go ahead and pop these inserts into place. So to do that, I'm just putting glue on this bottom portion of the inside front insert. And then you can add some little, little bling for the, uh, the wheels of the train if you want. And then insert number one. And yours will have been decorated with your panels and your little decor. And then you want these tabs to be folded towards you and put some glue on those. Oops. And then you want the, the top, this line here, where there's basically a line going across, you want that to be flush with the top of the box card. And then you also want the front of those tabs with the glue on them to basically be flush with the front of the box card. So everything lines up at nice right angles. And as it's drying, you want to fold it both ways gently just to make sure that everything is going to fold flat. So then you can take your decorated insert number two with the tabs folded away from you and pop that inside the same way that you just did the last one. So again, the top of it is flush with the top of the card and the back of those tabs is flush with the back of the box card. And once again, we want to fold it both ways to make sure that it's going to lay flat. So if you notice there is a one and a two written on those inserts, that is because on your insert your machine will have cut a one and a two, and I just took a marker and darkened those in so you could see them for this video. So next for our Merry Christmas box card, this one is a little bit wider than the average box card. But let's start out with the box card itself, which is mainly these two pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and glue these together. I'm going to put some glue on this side tab here and glue that to the other, the other part. And then I'm going to close it up by putting some glue on the other side tab and closing it up. So as you can see, there are three rectangles on each side here, and that's where you want to put your ribbon panels. So my ribbon panels on my finished card are these these pretty red red dot this red dot pattern. So I'm just going to glue down each of these rectangles like so, and then my ribbon panel goes on each one. Then the next thing I want to do is take this long this long rectangle here and I just want to glue that inside the front. Since it's such a long skinny rectangle we just felt like we should add a little reinforcement there because it just gets a little uh, it gets easy to, to get bent or just warped when it's just, you know, if it's humid. Like right now it's July, so things have a tendency to just warp a little bit. 
So there is the body of my box card. And the next thing I want to do is take a look at my inserts. So again, in your PDF download, in your PDF, which is included in your download, it shows the embellishment layout for your inserts. So here's the inside front, and this is what it looks like. And what you want to do is go ahead and glue together your letters that spell out to you. And each one is three layers thick, just to make it look more dimensional. So you want to go ahead and glue together, you know, all three layers of the T, all three layers of the O, and so on. And then you want to go ahead and glue those on except for the Y, because the Y goes on on the outside at the end. So go ahead and glue on your the other letters, not the Y. And then we will put this inside the body of our box card here. Like this. And then once it's in place, then you can go ahead and glue your your three layers thick final letter on, which is the Y. So then the next insert is the only insert, just this one, which is decorated with this really pretty vintage um, Christmas lettering. And the C, the brown part of the C is right in the middle of the white part of the C, but the rest of the word, the brown part is actually aligned with the top left corner of each white letter. So that's a little bit more gluing together than I usually do on any project, but I think it's worth it because it looks really cool and really pretty. So when you're gluing those together, just make sure each letter is aligned at the top left corner. Then you also want to glue on this panel here. Mine is this, this pretty like chevron pattern. So as you can see, it shows you exactly what to do there. And then we want those tabs to be folded away from us and put some glue on them. And you can go ahead and pop that inside your box card. So this actually sits flush with the bottom and it's flush with the top. And we want the back of those tabs to be flush with the back of the box. And then before it's completely dry, just fold it flat carefully both ways to make sure that it's going to fold flat. And then you can go ahead and put your letter A and the word Mary right here, which is just one layer so it's nice and easy. And then on the back to reinforce it, we have this panel here, which you just glue right in the center. And it's just a hair smaller than the shape that it's going onto so that it lines up perfectly, it's not sticking out at all. And then you can put your oval here and write whatever you want or stamp on it or whatever. Next for our poinsettias box card, I've got my three inserts here, the inside front, insert one and insert two. And once again, as you can see in your PDF, it shows you just a flower goes on this first one and then another flower and then another flower. It's really pretty straightforward and simple. So the way that these flowers go together is if you want, you can rub a ink pad around the edges of them to add a little dimension. I actually took a paintbrush and some glue and I spent a little extra time putting some glitter around the edge of each petal. So if you feel like doing that, you certainly can. And then once it's dry, you just want to gently pinch each petal. It doesn't have to be like precise or anything, you just kind of, as long as it's curved. And then, also for the center part of each flower, if you want, you can add something cool. Like I covered this in some glittering glue, <clears throat> and then I put some special specialty glitter on there. If you want to add something like that, you can. It's pretty cool. So the center just gets glued right into the middle of this petal, this one that looks kind of funny goes in the back and it doesn't need to be, you know, oriented a certain way, just whatever you think looks nice. And then just kind of maybe just take a look at it and decide where you want it to be. I think it looks nice when it's like this. And then if you want, you can just glue that right on to where you're going to put it or if you want to use some kind of pop dot back there, you can. But it's also nice if you pinch each of these leaves also on your inserts. 
So I will go ahead and do that real quick. And then you can make the other three flowers and put those on also. And then let's take a look at the body of our box card, which is mainly just these two pieces. So I'm going to put some glue along the side tab of one of them and get that into place. And then as long as it's still flat, let's go ahead and put this piece into place, which is going to go right inside. And the only reason that we have this piece here is just to strengthen up those pretty like vine looking plants in the back. So since they are just kind of delicate and, um, well since they're so delicate, if it's only one layer thick, it just has a tendency to kind of warp. Even if you're careful with it, it just starts to kind of bend, especially if there's any humidity in the air at all. So you can be more precise and careful than me, but you just want to line that up glued nicely into the back. Then we can go ahead and close up our box card with some glue on the side tab there. And then we can pop our inserts into place. And I actually got a little bit ahead of myself. If you, while it's still flat, if you would like to put your panels in place, you can, or at this point, you can still add them at this point. And by panels, I just mean this, this pretty decorative, these three pieces that are going around the outside. So at this point, I'm going to put my inside front insert into place. And if you want to actually add this flower um, afterwards, that's probably a good idea. I, I got a little ahead of myself again. Um, mine is going to slide right into place just fine but it's better to be safe than sorry if you'd like to add that flower after you put the inside front insert into place. That could be a good idea. Now if you've got your flowers on these already, that is totally fine because those are just going to get put right into place. So insert number one, I've got the tabs folded towards me. And I'm going to pop some glue on these guys. My my folding job here is a little bit a little bit crooked, but I'm just going to keep going here. Hopefully my card still wants to fold flat. So as you can see, the top of it is flush with the top of the box and the front of those two tabs is flush with the front of the box. And before it's completely dry, you just want to fold it flat both ways to make sure that it's going to fold flat. Mine just came apart, but you get the idea. And then for insert number two, I've got a flower right here on mine. I have an imaginary flower there. You will have a pretty flower right there. And I'm going to put some glue on those two tabs and then insert the insert here. As usual, the top of it is flush with the top of the box and the back of the tabs is flush with the back of the box. And once again, as it's still drying, you want to fold it flat both ways to make sure that it's going to fold flat. And mine had come apart, so it's kind of it's kind of wacky, but you get the idea. I'm sure yours is perfect. So then, if you want to add one more flower, you've got a final flower left over. I just put that right inside the back layer, and then I've got some pretty little, you know, sticky dots on these nice little vines too. Next, for our Santa box card, I've got my inserts laid out here: the inside front, and um, once again, in your PDF, you can see the layout for that. There's a little gift and some stars, which go right onto this inside front panel. And then insert number one, you can go ahead and put your 
Santa layers on here. And there is another, there's another layer that basically looks like if you chop this off, there's one piece that looks just like this, which you glue right onto the back here just to strengthen up your Santa. And then there's a white layer and a red layer, which means that the only thing left to see here is this green color, which is his bag. So that's insert number one. You can see how my Santa looks here. This patterned paper is what my insert looked like for my previous card. And then insert number two here, you just want to put your candy cane and your gift onto it. And then we can hold off on the back panel, which will go in at the end. So we've got the body of our box card here. And at this point, you can go ahead and put your panels in place on these three areas. And then on these flaps, there are three more panels, which go here. So for my original box card, I took these panels and I covered them with some snowy glitter, which I think look, looks really cool. It looks like a chimney, I think. The only thing is with the glitter, when you cover a whole piece of paper with it, uh, with the glue, it has a tendency to kind of warp. So it was a little tricky. And then at this point, you can also go ahead and glue your back panel as well as this writing space onto the back of the body of your box card. So now, once everything is creased and ready to go with panels in place, we can go ahead and put some glue on the side tab and close it up. Then the next thing we want to do, now that it's closed up, we can put our background into place. So if yours is a solid color like mine is here, it looks pretty cool if you use an embossing machine to emboss it. I put some snowflakes on the last one that I did. It looks pretty cool. And now we can go ahead and put our insert number one into place. And yours will have your stars and your gift already on here as decoration. And that just goes right inside the front of the box card. And then our Santa layer, which is insert number one, we want those tabs folded towards us with some glue on them. And we can go ahead and put that in place. And the top of the insert down there is flush with the top of the box. And the front of those tabs is flush with the front of the box. So once you think you've got it in place pretty well, you just want to fold it both ways gently to make sure that it's going to fold flat. And then we can put insert number two into place. And again, yours will have your candy cane and your gift in place already. And we just want to pop that into place without getting too much glue everywhere. And again, the, the top of the tab is flush with the top of the box. And the back of each tab is flush with the back of the box. And once again, gently fold it both ways to make sure it'll fold flat. And at this point, oh, mine came apart, but you get the idea. At this point, you can also add your stars back here and any kind of decoration that you want. And I put some cute stuff on the front of my box card as well as a pretty bow on my gifts. And it's super cute. Now, finally, for our snow globe box card, I've got my inserts laid out here. And you can also see the embellishment layout as well. So for this inside front um, insert, there's actually a second one, a second piece that looks identical to this. You want to glue those together. And that's just because it's kind of um, delicate, so we wanted to make it a little bit stronger. And then for insert number one, you can see it has a cute little church with some colored snowflake decoration on it. So you want to go ahead and glue that onto insert number one. And my little church here just has a little circle on the top to put a cute little bling on. But in your extras folder, if you want a cross on top, there's one instead with a cross. Everything else is the same except for that part of it. Then for insert number two, it's got some pretty snowflakes and you can go ahead and add your snowflake on top as well as there's another snowflake that goes here as well. So 
if you want to add glitter to those before you glue them into place, that looks cool. That is what I did with mine. I put some glitter on a lot of those snowflakes. And then for the back panel, the way that this goes together is, here is the, this is part of, well, let's back up a little bit. This is the body of my box card, and it's going to go together like this. So this is the back of it, and the inside of the back gets this glued into place. But you want your piece of vellum, your little circle of vellum, to be on the inside. So let's glue that into place. And every time I glue vellum, it has a tendency to wrinkle where the glue is. So I always press down extra, extra hard when I am gluing vellum onto paper. And then we just want to um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to grab the front of the body of my box card and glue that into place. And then put my blue piece into place. So at this point, while it's still flat, I can go ahead and put my half snowflakes on each of these flaps. As you can see, there's a little blue, in my case it's blue, on these two flaps. And then we can go ahead and glue the rest of the body together. And as you can see also on the back of your box card, there's a panel for writing or stamping on. If you want, you can fold yours flat and put that on right now also. And then we can go ahead and put our inserts into place. So mine are not decorated, but yours will be at this point, only because it's easier to decorate them while they're flat. I mean, you could certainly put them in and then add stuff to them, but of course it's easier to do that while they're flat. So yours will be decorated even though mine are not right now. So for insert number one, I'm putting some glue on these tabs which are folded towards me. And then I want to put this into place with the, the top of the insert is flush with the top of the box here. And it's also flush with the, the front and I'm folding it both ways to make sure it's going to fold flat before it's completely dry. And then on your decorated insert number two, we'll put some glue on those tabs which are folded away from you and pop that right into place also. And once again, the back of the tabs are flush with the back of the box and the top of the tab is flush with the top there. And once again, I'm folding it both ways to make sure it's going to fold flat. And mine came apart again because I, I wasn't taking my time enough, but you get the idea of how it goes together. Then you can go ahead and this little piece, actually what you want to do is put a line of glue on this rectangular shape here. And then this just kind of pops out to make it look more like a snow globe. And then you can go ahead and use some brads or whatever to cover that up and stamp on it. Looks super cute or whatever you want to do. So there you have it. Super fun Christmas box cards. I hope you have a blast making them. And if you want to make a bunch of them, you have plenty of time to, you know, leisurely work on it over the next couple of months if you want to do that. Or you could always just make a couple for some extra special recipients too. So if you do make them, you'll have to share a picture on our Facebook wall or on your blog and pin it on Pinterest or put it on Instagram. Either way, we love seeing your projects and so do the rest of our crafty friends. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time and happy crafting. Learn more by visiting www.svgcuts.com.
Don't forget to like us on Facebook and watch all of our crafty videos on YouTube. It's a world of crafty content with you in the middle. SVGcuts.com, inspiring you to live creatively and beautifully.